Director of State Joseph Harmon during a sector review of the Department of the Environment committed to the National Parks Commission to engage several embassies here to solicit assistance in maintaining local parks. The National Parks Commission, NPC, faces several challenges that hinder the proper maintenance of the local parks. These include drainage issues on the west bank of Demerara in the vicinity of Jovera Park, which has led to the park's flooding. Drainage issues on the northern portion of the Zoological Park and Rescue Center also pose challenges. In light of these and other hindrances to revenue collection, State Minister Joseph Harmon has assured that steps are being taken to address these matters through joint ventures with foreign embassies, the first being the Chinese. The Chinese have committed, in a way, in a major way, to, to dealing with Jovera Park. We've done some um, site visits. I think there was some site testing and so on to be done. And I can assure you that I'm going to aggressively go after this to ensure that they not only maintain it, but I'm looking for a long-term maintenance contract for about 10 years or so. Minister Harmon said if Guyana is on a green path, then it cannot promote slushy parks. Therefore, he will aggressively address matters related to equipment and maintenance. Head of Administration at NPC, Dennis Bentick, in presenting the Commission's 2018 work plan, said they are re-establishing relations with international zoos, upgrading and rehabilitating key buildings and infrastructure within the three parks. Training will continue, and this is being done in conjunction with the plans of the Protected Areas Commission. We have the annual zoo camp, which is part of the edu education and awareness objective. Um, we plan to in, improve the, the zoo infrastructure and re rehabilitate the National Parks North Stand. The National Parks Commission is one of the four agencies that falls under the purview of the Department of the Environment. For InfoHub, Stacey Carmichael.